Welcome back to PSC TechBuy. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft Graph subscriptions. Through a subscription, you can easily register a webhook, which can be, for example, an Azure function or any other HTTP endpoint of your choice, which will get a notification whenever happens something interesting about a resource managed through the Microsoft Graph. By default, a subscription will not provide you any information other than the ID of the resource which has been impacted by the uh, action or by the event. But if you want, uh, you can register special uh, subscriptions, uh, which will include also data. Uh, in order to do that, you will have to provide an X509 certificate, uh, which will be used to encrypt uh, a one-time uh, uh, symmetric key that will be used to encrypt the content uh, of the message. There are some limits for the subscriptions, and specifically if we talk about Teams, uh, for an app, you can have up to one subscription for a chat or a channel, and you can have up to 10,000 subscriptions per organization. And moreover, whenever you create a subscription, the subscription has to be renewed. Uh, so uh, every now and then, there will be an expired date time expiring, and you will have to create a new subscription or to renew the already existing and expiring one. And for example, again, for Teams chat messages, the expired time is 60 minutes. So basically every hour you have to refresh your subscription. Talking about how practically, uh, how to subscribe for events uh, with subscriptions in graph for Teams uh, uh, events, like for example, a message in a chat, well, you have, first of all, to register an application in Azure Active Directory with proper permissions that you can see on this slide in order to get access to the target resources. Then you will have to make a post request to the subscriptions endpoint to register your subscription, providing, for example, the ID of the resource, the change type that you want to uh, be triggered on, so like, uh, for example, a new created message or an updated message or stuff like that you will have to provide an expired date and time accordingly to the maximum expired date and time defined for the resource you are targeting. And of course, you will have to provide the URL of the webhook that you want to trigger with the event. Once you've done that, Microsoft Graph will send a validation request to your HTTP endpoint, meaning that it will send an HTTP request, including in the uh, query string, a validation token that you will have to provide back to the Microsoft Graph with a 200 HTTP status response and providing the whole text of the token in the body of the response as a text plain response. Once you have done that, uh, before expiration, you will also have uh, eventually to renew the uh, subscription and uh, otherwise, as I told you, you will have to create a new one. Then the notification will be sent uh, to your endpoint uh, and you will be able to get at least the ID of the item or eventually the whole content uh, as long as you will be able to decrypt uh, the content which will be sent to you as an encrypted uh, uh, set of data. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to create a subscription for chat messages in a channel in Microsoft Teams. So, here we have an Azure Active Directory application that I registered and in the API permission section, I configured uh, a couple of uh, application-only permissions for chat read all and chat message read all and I granted them with a tenant admin account. Moreover, in the certificate and secrets, I configure the client credentials uh, to get an app-only access token with this application. Then I have uh, a team in Microsoft Teams uh, and a channel where I can write messages and I want to get notifications whenever there will be new messages in this uh, uh, channel chat. So, in order to do that, I need first of all to get a reference to the channel. So I can make a Microsoft Graph query for that specific team, which I found based on the display name, and I can search for the channel of that team. And if I run this request, I can see that I have a set of channels, including the subscribed channel. And here I can see the ID of the channel, as well as the ID of the team right here. So, using Postman, for example, I can send a request, uh, including in the header, the uh, bearer uh, access token for the app-only context that I want to use. I can send a request, a post request, to the subscriptions endpoint of Microsoft Graph, 
including in the body of the request as a JSON message, and as such, I will have uh, the content type application JSON. In the body, I say, we have uh, the change type that we want to monitor, so the created event, whenever will be created a new message. This will be the notification URL of an Azure function that I just created. This will be the resource URL, so the target team based on the ID, the target channel based on the ID, and the collection of messages in that channel. I need to provide an expired date time, and as I told you, it has to be within the next 60 minutes from when I create, I register the subscription, and I can eventually provide a client state which I can use to provide additional content to the um, subscription when the webhook will be triggered. So, let's have a look to the Azure function on the other side. This is a very trivial function. I simply get an HTTP request. I see if I have a validation token in the query string, and I always get the body of the request as a string, and I write it in the log, just for the sake of showing you what we will get back from graph. So, uh, once I've done that, if I have a validation token, I will simply reply back with that specific validation token. If not, I will simply reply back with a 200, still in object, uh, OK object result, but I will not provide any content for the output because I will simply process, uh, theoretically process, uh, uh, server-side the request. So here we have the logging, let me maximize it, and let me start with the subscription. So let me click on the send button. It will take a while, and I will get a response from Microsoft Graph, uh, including some reference information about the subscription. You see, I get the idea of the subscription that I just created, I see what the resource is, uh, and many more information about the subscription. If I go back uh, to the function, I can see that the function got triggered one time uh, for the validation uh, and providing the validation token in the request. So now I can go back uh, to uh, my team channel, and I can start a new conversation. So this is a new conversation, for example. And let me send this message. If I will go back to the function, we will see that pretty soon, and here we are, we will get a notification. Here, in the console log, we can see the JSON content of the notification. So if I open the JSON viewer, for example, the one on the web, I can see that the message that I've just got will include the idea of the subscription, the event type, my client state, so the one that I provided when I subscribed for this subscription, the reference to the resource that triggered the uh, notification, as well as the resource data, including the ID of the resource, which is the message that got uh, uh, just uh, created. I can reply back to this message. This is a reply message. And again, by sending this message, I will get another notification in my Azure function. So if I go back here, we see we have another message right here. We can copy again the content of this message. And if I will update the JSON content, we can see that now we have a different message, which will be the reply of the previous message. So really simple and straightforward. Once you have done that, you can easily do whatever you like to do in your Azure function using, for example, the up-only context and consuming the actual message or eventually requesting to get the whole content of the message in the notification. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.